So, hi class. Uh, I'm going to show you the solution of a voltage divider by a circuit. So, I'm going to show you how to solve this circuit. So, there are actually two types or two solutions for this. One is the exact solution. And... The other one is the approximate solution. Now, if you are going to look at the given circuit, we have here uh, a complete single stage amplifier. So, meron pa yung VI dito at saka yung V out doon. But then, if you remember, for a DC analysis, capacitors are actually open. Therefore, you can actually erase this one, this part of our circuit. So, pwede nating alisin muna the in and the out. So, there. So this is our DC circuit for a voltage uh, divider bias. Now, I'll be showing you first the exact solution. So for, for this type of circuit, what are you going to do to be able to solve for this unknowns? We have, we have to solve for the base current, for the collector current, for the voltage across the collector and emitter or VCE and then we also have to solve for VC, VE and also VB. Okay, so for the exact solution, um, we need to thevenize, okay, to thevenize this part of the circuit, yung etong part na to. So if we are going to find, okay, VTH, or the Thevenin's voltage, and as well as the RTH, or the Thevenin's resistance. And it will actually reduce this given circuit to a circuit that looks like this. So this is our 16 volts. That is our RC 3.9 kilo ohm. And then we also have here our 0 0.68 kilo ohm. This will be our RTH and then of course ito yung VTH natin. So uh, I think you're done with the Thevenin's theorem so madali na lang ito para sa inyo. But how do we solve for the RTH here? So RTH is simply the parallel combination of the 68 kilo ohm R1 in parallel with your 9.1 kilo ohm. Okay? So we calculate muna natin. So we have 68. So we actually have 8.025 kilo ohm as our RTH. And then for the VTH, VTH is actually the voltage across 9.1 applying for uh Applying voltage divider. So, dito natin kukunin. Siyempre, eto, open yung pag Thevenin's theorem, ba? So, we have, we can apply voltage divider. And that is actually why is it called as a voltage divider by a circuit. So, to find VTH, so we have 16 uh, multiplied by your 9.1 kilo ohm divided by the sum of 68 kilo ohm plus 9.1 kilo ohm. So VTH then is equal to, let me calculate it first. So 16 uh, multiplied by 9.1 exponent 3 
divided by 68 exponent 3 plus 9.1 exponent 3. So we have VTH equal to 1.89 volts. Okay. So after that, how do we solve for uh, the unknown? IB, IC, VC, VC, and so on. Okay. So first, uh, we are going to apply KVL just like what uh, we have actually done before. So this time, to solve for, of course, lagi muna natin yung mga, ano, mga terminal currents. So this one is your IC. This is your IB. And then of course, ito yung direction na emitter current. Then all we have to do is to uh, apply KVL um, KVL around this loop to determine the equation. So we'll start at the VTH. It will be 1.89. And then of course we have minus uh, RTH is 8.025 kilo ohm multiplied by IB plus of course we have here dito yung ating VBE okay and so minus so this should be minus okay that is that should be minus minus dapat yan ha so minus um galit we erase natin Ayan. Minus, so we have minus um, 0 0.7, which is the VBE, and then we have 0 0.68 kilo ohm multiplied by IE. So this will actually be our uh, working equation, KVL equation around that loop. And then we can easily uh, express our emitter current in terms of ID so that we will have one equation, one unknown. So since the beta is 80 and IE is equal to beta plus 1, so it will be 81 multiplied by your base current. Now substituting this in our uh, equation, in that equation, then we have 1.89 less 8.89. 0 0.2 kilo ohm multiplied by IB minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.68 kilo ohm uh, multiplied by 81 multiplied by IB and that is equal to 0. So this time we already have uh, one equation and one unknown. So it will be 1.89 less 0 0.7 divided by 8.02 kilo ohm plus 0 0.68 kilo ohm multiplied by 81. So, uh, calculating this, we will be able to get a value of IB. So, after which, of course, uh, madali na lang para sa atin, pag na-solve na, na natin yung isang current, then everything will be easy to solve. Okay? So, I think I don't need to to show you na the, the all of the solution of uh, tung unknown na to. Because uh, tuloy nyo na lang. Ha? So, this is the exact solution. Now, when do we, when do we uh, have the approximate solution? So, kailan natin pwedeng gamitin yung approximate solution? Now, for the approximate solution, approximate solution, meron tayong condition to satisfy. Okay? Ito ay yung beta RE should be greater than 10 times R2. 
Now, if this condition is satisfied, then we can actually do approximate solution. So, tignan natin if this, uh, if this condition is satisfied. So, let's say 80 multiplied by 0 0.68 kilo ohm. Now, is it equal to 10 times multiplied by 9.1 kilo ohm? I think it's not. So, 80 times 0.68 exponent 3. So, that will actually give us... 54,400 and that is not actually greater than 91. So, hindi natin siya masasatisfy. So, we cannot actually solve this one using the approximate solution. So, exact solution lang talaga. So, uh, kunyari, because I cannot open na my laptop to get uh, another problem that will satisfy yung approximate solution. But just in case, okay, um, just in case this is satisfied, okay, if this is satisfied, if this condition is satisfied, then um, how, how, uh, how are we going to solve now the voltage divider using using um, the approximate solution. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin is we have uh, I think I'll just get another another problem that will satisfy itong, ano, itong condition na to and then I'll show you how the approximate, approximate solution is done.